Hey everybody, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13 with me, Redneck Einstein. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all good. I genuinely mean that, by the way. I do genuinely hope you're all good. Um, this episode, what I hope to do is build an entertainment room. Now, I'm thinking this area that we found, which was the hidden danger, I'm thinking of turning that into the entertainment room. Because remember last episode, we were fortunate enough to um, buy... A giant mega screen TV so I thought it might be cool if we put that in here and then built like a, a little cinema kind of thing and we'll have loads of little armchairs and, and stuff like that do you think that sounds kind of cool I like the thought of it um the thing is though we're gonna need lots and lots of cotton so let's set up another little growing area I don't know if this is going to work particularly well but we'll have a couple of little areas around here. Put some cotton in there. And obviously we need the cotton so we can build armchairs and stuff. So let's put that there. Um, yeah, our pool table, I want to go in there also. Now I was mining this area out for, for my entertainment room. But I've changed my mind about that. So I'm just going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Maybe I'll move my prison cells down there. Not sure just yet. So, we also want our little pool table in here. And that can be like their nice little relaxation zone. Cool thing is, we found loads of little components to mine last episode as well. So, Sidon's busy mining those. Unfortunately, Mr. Pin has now got the plague. So, that's going to limit our construction a little bit. There he is. He's got major plague. Immunity, 81%. So, he should be fine as long as he stayed, stays in bed. Now, there's some traders coming along as well from Leguagubia. Remember, we're trying to improve our relations with everyone um, at the moment. So, last episode, we released a couple of um, prisoners as well after a raid. Now, oh yeah, unfortunately, Ashen Crow is now pretty much brain dead. He's got a permanent gunshot injury to his head. So, the person who speaks to the uh, traders is William Interman. So, let's go and speak to this orange fella. And uh, we're running low on medicine. You might notice that we're running really low on meals. I know some of you are commenting on that. I don't know what else to do. If I show you my cooks, I've got plenty of cooks. I've got three, so I, I don't quite know what else to do. But I do know we need some things. So, we need... Ooh, Synthread. Wow, remember we got loads of money last episode as well. Synthread would be awesome. Spacer Tech Synthetic Fabric, designed for making ordinary clothes. Hmm. I'm tempted, but no. I will just buy some components from them. Uh, <laughs> they've got the Yorkshire Terrier meat. Awesome. Now, is there any animals we should maybe buy? A bull would be kind of cool. But I know some of you are thinking, well, you can't even feed yourself. But we are feeding ourselves. So a bull might be difficult. Mmm, I'm so tempted, but maybe I shouldn't. Steel seems to be quite rare now as well. Uh, no, I'm just going to go ahead and just get the components. That seems fine. They've got a couple of little cute piggies there. Oh, how cute. Yeah, last episode also, we moved our power switch so closer inside our base. So it would be easier if we're encountering any sort of dangers. We can use that to turn on our turrets now. Hey, he's already placed down our billiards table. Nice. What are you doing, Elfwin? Ah, oh, and our little mega screen TV. Epic. Cool. Let's uh, let's get a power cable running along there then. Unfortunately, that's a bit annoying. It's going to be running right in the middle of the hallway. But never mind. Oh yeah, we're building power cables up there, so we've got some lighting in those new bedrooms. Ashen Crow. I love how Ashen Crow's still capable of researching, even though he's got a permanent brain injury. How is that possible? Now, Drop Evolved is busy doing these sandstone chunks. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to suspend that. Because what I intend to do is get rid of this stockpile. And I kind of want to shift everything here. So basically, if that's full of detritus and rubbish, the enemy will take a lot longer to get through to my turrets because turrets are, are really important on this game now and, and they're weaker and they're easier to be um, destroyed by the enemy and obviously you need components to build new ones so it's quite a tricky balancing act making sure you've got enough components to build new ones 
and in fact enough steel. Um, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Uh, where's Hobo gone? I really wish we had that EDB interface. I tried to install... The EDB interface, by the way, is a mod that gives you um, a view of all your colonists across the top of the screen here. But um, it's not really usable at the moment. Due to the update to Alpha 13, the game's struggled, or the developers struggled to get the EDB interface fully working. Um, right, let's get a cloth, not cloth animal bed, cloth armchair. Yeah, we'll put those here. We we'll have a little, little cinema there. Um, yeah, so as it stands, that EDB interface is in two parts at the moment. Um, one that just shows you the colonists and one that's being worked on that contains the other features. Um, but I tried to install the one that just shows you the colonists, and it didn't work. So I'm not really sure what to do there. They're doing a good job of cleaning up this room. Well done, people. Hobo, what are you doing? You're smoothing the floor, Hobo. You're supposed to be growing. Ah, you're on construction. Let's take you off construction and tailoring. I want you growing and then hauling, my man. We've always got loads of stuff around the map that needs hauling, so... That's an important job that needs doing. All right, Flair is busy making components. Oh, one second. Uh, there was somebody who's really good at art. Uh, I think it was, yeah, Drop Evolved. It would be probably a good idea to put him back on artwork. There we go, he can finish his, he can finish his uh, sandstone sculpture. Right, let's, get... I did get a message from Oz saying, sensory mechanites that you're currently availed of, or, suffering with ooh, hold on um, does eventually go away but at the moment you're still struggling with it now we've got a raid so let's get rid of these little notifications and a family member is involved in this raid a town guard Vandriel who's the lover of colonist Lucky hold on a second isn't Lucky involved with one of our colonists are you having an affair where are you Lucky let me just check you out socially Lover, no, there he is, Dylan Vandriel Vandriel. Lovely name. <laughs> so, they gonna use sappers, are they? Okay, well, we'll see how that goes, won't we? I'm gonna go out there and kick their butt with snipers. Now, Hobo, I'm gonna need you to pick up that sniper rifle again, which I saw laying around somewhere. There it is. Now that free that will free up the LMG that you're currently carrying, so I think I'll give that to Drop Evolved. Get Drop Evolved to come out here in a moment. Now, okay, it looks like they're going to tunnel in from the left over there. Probably we'll switch on our turrets just in case. Yeah, they're going to be a pain in the ass. They're going to get right through my base there. Oh crap! They're going to be inside. All right, Hobo's changed his gun. Where are you, Drop Evolved? Let's get you to carry that. Right, Hobo, you're going out on a sniping mission, my man. Let's place you out there. I'm sure I've got someone else with a sniper rifle. But who is it? Not Drop Evolved, not Lucky. Ash and Crow, you're pretty much useless now. Mr. Pin Camino. Nope. William, nope. Elfin. Ah, Elfin, you don't have a weapon anymore. I think that's your weapon there. Equip that longsword. Yeah, this uh, this is going to be difficult to deal with, this raid. Uh, low food. Maybe we should send out some more people. We'll get Drop Evolved out there as well. Hey, Lucky. You want to come and shoot some peoples? Come and attack. We're going to need some people back here to defend as well, though. <gasps> Flare, yes, with the charge rifle. We'll pick them off as they're trying to make their way around the back of our base. Aha! Brony! Come with me, young lady. Hey, a combat supplier! Epic! We need medicine. Look, take a look at my hospital bed. Still unfinished. We need ten medicine. So where's my main man, William? Where are you, sir? There you are. Alright, come with me, young man. Let's call up that combat supplier. Alright, looks like they're doing a good job of mining through my base. Um, we've got so many people who can't actually fight, which is a bugger. Drop evolved. Maybe I'll get you to stand in the doorway there. 
So if they come through, you just machine gun them down. They're nearly through as well. This is this is going to be tight. Go team! Ooh, here we go. Trader! So let's get rid of all this nonsense or rubbish that is uh, cluttering up my base. This is a rare treat, getting a combat supply. By the way, if you haven't seen my video, you can increase the rate at which traders uh, come uh, by modifying one of the files. Now, take a look at my video and it will show you how to do that. I haven't increased it to the previous level, but I have increased it a little bit for this playthrough. Um, you know what? I might get um, William to hold the Molotovs and throw, throw Molotovs at the enemy. That will burn them as they come through. That's not a bad plan. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Survival of Rifles. Heavy SMG. Mm, I guess I'll, I guess we'll keep the charge rifle and this awful steel gladius. Whoa, there's so much stuff here. Plasteel shiv, plasteel knife, silver mace. Wow, we are rich. That's another thousand already we've made. Another silver mace. Epic. All right, how much medicine have you got? Forty-nine. We'll take it, all of it, and components. This is awesome. Hey, there's a new heart there. Bionic eye. Um, I think that's about all the trading we want to do. And we get rid of these two as well. Wow, we're still making a profit of 1411. Hells yeah! Okay, drop evolved. It was you who's waiting there. So let's get you to pick up these Molotovs. And if the enemy make it through, which looks like they're gonna. Aha, there we go. Good lads. Let's advance a little bit around the side here. And get ready to pick them off. Here they go. They're coming through. Oh, shizzle. Drop Evolve's already injured. Run, Drop Evolve. Run. No, they've put him down. They've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Oh, shit. Drop Evolve died. In the battle. Drop. I'm so sorry, man. Come on, team. Pick them off as they move. Yeah, you will pay for your crimes against humanity. Yeah, what's this guy doing? Roger. Hey, Roger, we're gonna machine gun you down. Nobody kills Drop Evolved. That's it. Murder him. All right, we have a fire to deal with. And a dead body. Shit, I can't believe we lost you. I thought you were gonna survive, Drop. Ah, the buggers coming in around the side. I don't know how else I could have dealt with it. I know I didn't deal with it good, but... Eh. Failure on my part. That's it. Beat out the fire team. Now we've got a bloody great hole in my base. You bastards. Oh my god, you put a hole in my base. You bastards. We need to fill that hole. And we need... Where's Brony going? Cremating. Hmm. How do you feel about that, Drop Evolve? Do we cremate you? I think we make a grave for you. That would be much better. We'll put a grave out here. So people can come and visit you. So let's suspend cremate corpse. Brony, put him down. And work on the grave. And then we'll, we'll prioritize burying you, mate. You stood there alone while the rest of the colony who can't fight were doing nothing. We're doing nothing. You tried to defend us. And I admire you for that, but uh, that sucks. We've actually... I think you are our artist, if I remember correctly. Yes, you were. Shizzle. No, no. Don't strip him. Bury him. That's it. Hang on. You might have some stuff we need, though. <laughs> no, you don't. You can be buried in all your clothes. Sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Okay, so... Is there anything else here that we want to lose? I guess we have to put that behind us. Um, I do apologize for losing you, mate. If we get any more spare colonists, then obviously you will become one of those. You will be reincarnated as Drop Evolved the second. Oh, I'd also like to welcome Casper to the to our Rhinesteinian rhinos, or how, whatever I should call you. I'm not quite sure what I should call my followers. But you're a new follower and a new subscriber. Thank you ever so much for subscribing, mate. I do intend to get you into the colony at some point. Um, alright, we got another trader come along, an exotic goods trader this time. Let's go speak to those. And, 
William Interman. You have such a long journey to make, my friend. There we go. We can get rid of some of these cloves now. So lots of trading occurring in this episode. Which is good, because, you know, I mean, it all gets left around, scattered about. We stockpiled it. And generally speaking, the traders are few and far between. So while we've got this opportunity, let's just get rid of as much crap as we can. Try and, I've got to try and make sure, you know, not not to get rid of the good stuff. If we've got any good stuff, like this cloth t-shirt, that's probably good to keep hold of. And the button-down shirt. The further down we go, the worse the stuff is. Even a shoddy buffalo leather t-shirt is not bad though, is it? So we'll keep that. Uh, cloth pants. What else have we got here? Get rid of the Devil Strand jacket. Alpaca wool duster. Da -da -da -da. Synthread jacket. Personal shield. Devil Strand pants. Right, I think that's fine. So that's going to give us another 817 silver, I guess. Someone lost an eye, didn't they? I think maybe we could get a bionic eye. It's not a bad price either, 1298. Mm. Oh, look at all these components as well. I'm just buying all of them. That is a find and a half. Look at that, 55 components. Hells yeah! Thank you ever so much. There's your little gravestone. Drop evolved. Thank you for all your hard work, my friend. All right, we can now unsuspend cremate corpse. Yes, and we have our, our hospital wing now has four bedrooms. Whoop, whoop. Hey, look at this. This is taking shape slowly. It's looking a bit ugly in here still, but it's getting there. I think I'm going to run this power cable there now. Deconstruct those ones. What do you think? Does that look kind of nice, guys? Better than it did, right? Alright, we've got this wall around there that needs building. Hey, what's this? Uranium. Well, I think we can make... Um, we can make some things out of it, right? Like, maybe some artwork eventually. I kind of hoped we would get capture some of those um, enemies in that raid, but that wasn't to be. Hey, good job, Hobo. How's our food situation? Six meals. Yeah, look, Oz is cooking like a beast again. Lucky is producing steel for us. Hey, Lucky, can you haul? No. Right, hobo, take a break and haul some of these components for me then. Look at these graves. These look different now. Is that meant to be like a little gravestone there? Kind of looks weird. Hey, cool. Good job, Elfwin. All right, yeah, now, do we move these prison cells? That's the question I've got. I think what I'm going to do before I do that then is maybe... Do a little bit of mining to tidy things up. And inside here, there's a whole line that needs mining. I'll just fill that up with sandstone wall. Hey, good job. So how many colonists have we got now? Three, six, nine. Damn, we're down to 13. Well, Alpha 13 playthrough is definitely proving a bit trickier than the Alpha 12D modded playthrough. That is for sure. Hey, my medicine's rotting out here. Come here, Elfwin. Let's haul that in. Thank you. We do not want that to go bad after we spent so much money on it. But take a look at my silver. We've still got two and a half thousand silver. So we've got enough money to buy some stuff. Should we need to. Let's fill in these walls. Look at Sardin. You're mining like a phenom. And Lucky, you're helping mine. Is there not something better we can get you to do? You could take over as our artiste. Mm, or hunt or handle. I think we'll put you on the art table. But I think what you do have to do, since this artwork was started by Drop Evolved, peace be upon you, my brother, <laughs> then we have to cancel that one and let her just build a completely new one. There we go. Yeah, we wanted lights inside there as well, didn't we? Inside our entertainment room. Where, hey, Camino has named Muffalo Calf 1 Kino after being nuzzled. That's quite a nice name. I like that. Now, what colours shall we have in our entertainment room? I think we'll have green down this end. And maybe 
a nice blue by the entertainment uh, by the TV area and then we'll have red in the middle like so um, I think we're gonna need to run some power cables around here though so let's do that and on this side actually it's just surround the whole room that'll be fine a hey, elfin how's your how you doing there oh no oh yeah it was you who's lost your eye how does that affect you so it gives you poor sight it says efficiency 50% but what does that actually mean it doesn't seem to be affecting what you're doing so I'm not gonna worry I guess hey there's mr. pin he's developed immunity to the plague nothing will keep this good man down ah lovely it's all taken shape look at that Look at all these crops out here. I wish they would haul more. I've, I've set them on hauling. Just show you my work schedule. Look, we've got. Let's get rid of that. Um, Brony and William Interman are on hauling. Visiting grave. Ah, William. Ah, <laughs> look, dude, he hates hobo. That's not cool, man. Be nice to hobo. Sure, he's ugly in the game, but in real life, he's probably a handsome chap. Let's not be mean to him. Oh yeah, let's keep an eye on temperatures. Outdoors, 14. Indoors, 19. All right, that's fine. Um, I've been receiving some really nice comments lately, guys, from you saying, well, especially from a new subscriber um, who said, you know, this is one of the best playthroughs he's seen and my presentation is really good. I really appreciate that kind of feedback, man. You don't know how much that means to me and, um, I'm doing my best to grow the channel. I've got all my search engine tags and description and everything right. So if, but if I'm doing something wrong, just let me know, people. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm hoping to grow the channel and sell some merchandise. If, if anyone does buy any merchandise, by the way, I want to see pictures of you tweeted to me or on Facebook or something. It'd be so cool. Like if I could see you wearing your T-shirt or you're uh, using the mug or something like that, it'd be amazing. Anyway, we're running out of fuel here. This is not cool. Running out of energy. Are there any more of these geothermal generators? There's another one here. I think, I think, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna build another one there. Cause running out of running out of energy is not the cool thing, man. You know what I mean? That will mean our turrets will not work. And in the event of an emergency, we will all perish. Breakdown cooler. <gasps> Which one? Oh, it's in our refrigerator. Fix it. 14 meals. Cool. Our meal stockpile is going up slowly. Having so many colonists is making you eat a lot. Hey, what's going on here? Set for colonists. Aha. Uh -huh. And up here, need to add a door and a vent. By the way, guys, summer has finally arrived in Sweden. We had temperatures of 25 degrees Celsius the other day. Quite frankly, I was melting. If you remember, in the winter, it was minus 26 Celsius. So having a plus 26 is pretty damn cool. Oh, shizzle. We got alpha beavers. Who wants to go hunting? I want someone to hunt them and kill them. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to send you out, Ash and Crow. Even though you can't really do a lot. Da, 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 da. You're going to need a gun, though. Ash and Crow, you are brain dead. Come with me and equip the charge. No, there's the LMG there. <gasps> yes, grab the LMG. And now you're researching. I say nay to researching. We pretty much research most things anyway. Go hunt, my man. Hunt. Rescuing hook. From what? Down. Permanent gunshot injury to the brain. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened there? How did he get... I must have been during one of my raids or something. Damn, son. Eh... Uh... Ah, oh, yes, look at that stockpile of meals now. Woohoo! Finally got tons and beer. 
Oh, yeah, you know what? I need to move our party spot and our marriage spot. That's going to be in the entertainment room. Where do I find those? Miscellaneous, isn't it? Yeah, marriage can happen. You know what? We'll put the marriage area there. And I'll put a few little chairs so people can sit there as well, I think. And the party spot can be right in the middle. So, let's get some furniture going. Cloth armchair. Hang on, what's this? Muffalo wool. Ooh. Yeah, let's use muffalo. Muffalo wool chairs. We'll have four little chairs there. You know what? I want to do some more taming as well. Because there's loads of muffalos down here. I think Ash and Crow can have a break from his... Uh, from his researching. And he can do hunting and taming. Yeah. Hey, where's this? Where's Kino going? Kino, get back to where you belong. Oh yeah, I just pretty much let them go anywhere now, don't I? I guess that's fine. Providing, like, providing I move them when there's a raid and I make sure they stay close to home. Alright, that's some steel set to be mined again. And the end of another long day here on the colony. Ah, sweet, another trade caravan. Hey, Ash and Crow. Drop that personal shield. You are no longer needing that. Hey, is anyone going to repair this? This food is overheating inside there. There you go, brony. That's it. Lovely. Can you haul these? You can. Good stuff. Hey, hobo. Why aren't you growing things? What the hell are you doing? Here I am. You're in bed. All right. A sandstone auto door has broken down. No, it's an emergency. For the love of God, man. Hello, traders. Welcome. Let's go talk to them. See what they have. I do like those wargs that you have. I need a pack of wargs to attack anybody who dares set foot on Rhiney's Rim. <coughs> Etc. Okay, Tiger. What does, what does you has? E Labrador fur. Yeah, you can have some of these small quantity materials that we have. We don't want those. Um, hang on. How good is Labrador fur? Insulation. Market value. Minus 30 beauty. That's not cool. What about beaver skin then? That's minus 30 as well. What? That doesn't make sense. Trumbo fur. Boar skin. <gasps> we got tons of boar skin. I might replace the chairs that we're going to use for our cinema with the boar skin. Whoa, look how many components we have now. 97. Let's boost it up to 101. And... Snow hair meat. That's cool. That must be a new animal. And you know what? I think I'm going to get a couple of little chickens. A hen and a rooster. Yeah, look, and a male and a female wog. Maybe we can get baby wogs. Do it! Yes! We've got tons of animals now. Okay, what was I going to do? Uh-oh, raid! Shit. Eh, let's just delete those before I move on. Where were we? Boar skin, that's it. There you go, we'll have three little chairs there. Okay, what are we dealing with? A group of pirates from the arrows have arrived. Damn it, they're going to use sappers again. That's quite a lot of them as well. Hmm. I think we need to be more proactive. But I, I'm going to leave that till the next episode. I need to think about how I can deal with this more effectively. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like. Please share on Reddit, whatever forums you frequent. And let's try and build up a cool audience. So far, I've got some amazing people. I hope you all enjoy talking to each other. Uh, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.